Turner back with another video. Today we're going to teach you how to make your own DIY dream catcher. It looks, it's a really good decoration and you can hang it wherever you like. So for this project you'll need quite a few supplies. So first, you're going to need some colorful sharpies. If you don't have them, you could use markers instead. Next, you'll need some string or yarn. Um, preferably use string because it's thinner and you could choose whatever color you like. I choose the color pink. Next, you'll need some scissors, some scotch tape, some school glue, pom-poms. These are optional and for decoration. You'll need these um, paper shapes. I got them in a kit, but like if you don't have them, you can make them on your own. Make sure they have a hole in the middle. And you'll also need some beads. These are also for decoration. You're going to need a binder paper to write your plan out. A pencil, of course. And you could pick any two colors of construction paper you like. I chose pink and yellow. So, let's get started. So now we're going to um, draw our plan for our dream catcher. So first, you're just going to like put a line like this and you're going to split it in two. You're going to put waves like this. This is going to be where it's hanging from. Now you're going to, um, for our dream catcher, we're going to like put braids all around, all across. So usually it works best if you put like 14 of those. You can do a pattern, like one is small, one is long, one is small. I only had 11 because that's how it was over here, but um, you can always change the plan up a little bit if you really have to. Like I'm, I'm probably going to add a few more at the end. So now um, we have the main part. So remember how I told you about these paper shapes? Now you're going to decide what shapes you want to put. Like for example, for this first one I might want to put, I don't know, like a purple flower. I might want to put a purple flower there. So now I'm going to go on to the next one. I think I want to put a blue one here. And then you keep on doing this um, until you have you decide which ones you want. So now I finished drawing my plan. It looks kind of messy, but that's how it's supposed to be. Also, um, I decided to add like 13 of them. So now the next step, we're gonna just set this aside. The next step is to um, start drawing waves on the paper. Like this. Do the same for the other paper. You're just gonna keep it like this and just keep start from this point. Now you're going to cut them out. So now um, we've cut out our waves. We're going to take our glue and we're going to glue them together. So now that you're done gluing them together, we're going to start with the best part. We're going to start making these chains. So now you're going to need um, your string. You're going to cut like as how long, 
as long as you want it. I want it like this long. I'm just gonna cut over here. Remember to save space for tying it and for the back. So you're gonna cut three of these. So now um, I just finished putting the cutting out the string. Now to you have to braid this. Don't braid it all the way. Just braid it to like here, here. But to do it nicely, you're gonna have to take a heavy object, like just grab a lamp or something, and place it on top, right over here. Like that. Now, um, you're gonna start braiding it. Don't keep it too tight and don't keep it too loose. Just keep on braiding like this. So for um, the dream catcher, sometimes it's gonna you might get tired of working on it because you're gonna have to do like a lot of these braids, but it's fine to like take your time doing it. Like um, it might take a few days or something to do the whole craft, but that's fine because it'll look really good in the end. So keep on doing this. Just do um, a few more because you don't want to do too many. Ending it right about here would be good. Now you're going to want to tie it together. Just take the two ends and make a knot. Just like this. Make sure it's tight. And now, um, you're gonna take um, the longest one, which is this this one, and you want to um, keep that in the middle. Now you're going to take your needle and you're going to um, put the needle over here. Once you get the needle um, in, now you're going to want to take, look at your plan and take the first paper shape. You're going to, this is why you needed the hole. Now you're going to put the um, needle in the hole to help get the yarn through or string, whatever you're using. So you didn't really need the needle, it was just easier for me to get it in the hole. If you could do it without the hole, that's um, much better. So just stick it in like that. And now you're gonna need to take the bead, a bead, like this one, and um, put the needle through that too, if the hole's not big enough. Like I said before, the beads are completely optional. But I still like to use them. So now you just take the needle out. And you're almost done with your first braid. Now, this is um, the tricky part. Since this bead kind of has like a wide hole, um, you're gonna have to tie knots over here. 
just right under the bead. Make it um, as big as you want. Just try to make it too noticeable. Next, when you're done tying the knot, you want to take your scissors, grab your scissors, and cut the these two on the sides. And now for this part, I like to kind of make it like a tassel. So I'm just gonna make it a little shorter, like this short. And I'm just gonna sort of fluff it up like this. And there you go. Right now you have one of them ready. I'm gonna show you how to do one more and then um, you can do the rest by yourself. So this next one, it's going to be longer. So with your yarn, you're going to want to um, measure measure the how long the length of it against your braid that you just made. So if the braid ends like over here, then make it go. like this much longer. So there's a noticeable difference. You're gonna cut three of these. And then after, you're gonna tie them together and start braiding it. I'm gonna braid in time lapse. I'm just going to tie these. I'm just going to set this aside and now I am going to start braiding this. Remember, don't braid it all the way down. Just braid it like till here. This is the end, braid it till here. So I finished braiding it and I got, put my needle in the thread. I'm gonna take a look at my plan. And for me, the next item is this leaf. As you can see this time, it has two holes so I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go inside the first hole. I'm going to get it through. Okay, I got it through. So now I'm going to take it and go through the second hole. Like so. I'm just gonna put it like this. Put these neatly. Now I'm gonna grab a bead. And I'm gonna just put it through. Now I'm gonna make um, a knot. Some of these beads have like a wider hole, so you may have to do it like, um, make a knot twice, so like it doesn't slip out. Just check to make sure it's good. Okay, now we're just gonna cut these two ends. 
And if you, if you, for some reason, if you're feeling that it's not safe, like it's gonna fall out, just tie these two together. Make a knot with these two. Like this. Now, just cut them. And you have your second braid. So, you might want to take a look at your plan right now and see how many you have left. I have 11 left because I decided to end up doing 13. I have 11 left, so I have to keep alternating between like um, small braids and big braids. And remember to um, like stitch, put on, put on the paper things nicely. So we're going to show you the result of how um, when you're done putting all the braids on. But first, we're going to show you what you can do to decorate your wave. So now, um, we're going to show you how to decorate the wave. You, you can just put like pom-poms. Like I said before, they're optional. This is what I use them for. Um, hearts, more hearts, stars. I even added like stickers like this. So now we're um, going to stick the, the braids on. So we're going to show you, um, tell you how to stick these on. As you can see, I also changed this to um, blue at the last minute because um, I decided that it looked nicer that way and it matched nicely with the pink. And you, are, you guys can also feel free to change your minds about what color you want to. So to stick these on, you just take the braid and then you just put tape on top of it like this. And don't worry, it'll stay nicely. So now we're going to show you how it looks at the end all hung up. So we just hung um, our DIY dream catcher on the door and it looks super pretty. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye! See you in our next video!